what is going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones so tesla finally dropped a new 2023 version release in the form of 2023.6.1 and if you guys follow the channel you know we've been talking about this for a while it is nice to see a newer build other than a 2023.2 re release we were just on 2023.2.12 and like I said, they were all bug fixes, right? We didn't really get any new options for Model S and Model X owners and all that. They had some that went to the 3 and Y in these builds, but we were kind of left out. Having said that, finally in the release notes for this version, they're bringing one of those features that were left out to the S and X in this build. That is the yoke auto heating steering wheel. So now we can auto adjust the heat right through the app. You can actually do it in the display as well, whatever you want but we're finally getting that feature. We are also getting a new language support, but that is all in the release notes in the app. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the car, see if there's anything else, because we know it doesn't tell the whole story all the time, but it's good to see hopefully Tesla's moving past those prior bugs that were causing other, all those other subsequent dot dot releases for um, 2023.2.10, 11, 12, all of that. So let's go ahead and check, jump in the car, see if we see anything else. Thumbs up this video, guys. Give us a big like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. What's your thoughts on Tesla's new software rollouts? Have you been happy with it? Have you been finding a lot more bugs in these releases? Because we have. Let's go. All right, let's take a look. And here we go. Still version 11.1, .1, running 2023.6.1. And that other build number is 3B9FD67736AC. Uh, still nothing new for the navigation data, still running 2022.28. I am going to assume we should be getting a new maps build here shortly. This is kind of coming up on being very dated. We usually get about two a year. So hopefully in the very near future in a new release, we'll get some new uh, maps updates. Beyond that, jumping to the release notes and yeah, okay. So it is truly the same as what we got in the Tesla app, steering, yoke, heat, as you can see, now we can automatically heat the steering wheel based on the climate control set temperature to access the heating controls, tap on the temperature settings. So if you do that, you can jump in here and obviously go from there right here or set it to auto. I think that's very beneficial to have. I'm going to leave it on auto. Uh, we're in Florida. We might not utilize it that much, but it's nice to have. Then beyond that, new language support. It looks like it is going to be Icelandic now that is available as your preferred language. So nothing else here. Let's see just off the bat, and let me turn my volume down. Looks like Apple Music is playing pretty good right now. Let's just hop around. So good news is right now it's actually loading pretty well. It was definitely improved on 2023.2.12's build. Um, but for those of you that were having issues, that is uh, looking to be a little better and resolved. The other big issue, if you guys don't follow the channel, in our actual toy box now, when you actually go to theater and jump into, say, YouTube and all that, it was pulling up the mobile browser. That still kind of looks like it might be the case. Let's see what kind of quality we'll get if we go to play something. Yeah, it's still going to look a little rough. We can't change the video quality. Unfortunately, it's still set to 360p. I'm not sure if this was by design still. If you guys missed that other video, I did a whole video on it. Go check the channel. It'll break it down. But yeah, hopefully that's just a glitch that'll get fixed as well and not intentional for a data saving option. So that's still not resolved here. We'll give it a drive here a little shortly. Let me know what you guys think. Again, have you guys been having more issues than you ever have in these software updates? Are they pretty much ready to roll? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.